everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would go ahead and talk about some bags that I decided to pull out for this weekend. Um, on Saturday it was my birthday and so I kind of wanted um, something a little special occasion-y and um, I had the perfect bags in mind. And so on Saturday I kind of had like, I had a really wonderful day. Um, I basically spent the day with my husband and we sort of, you know, sightseed across the or we did some sightseeing um, around Sacramento. We went to the railroad museum, we went to a bakery. And so I needed a bag that I could do um, hands-free, um, something that I could carry like all of my essentials with me without being like too overwhelmed by a large bag. Um, and so I will talk about the bag that I took with me during the day. And then also I switched into something for the evening because we had a nice dinner planned. And so, um, so yeah, um, overall it was a wonderful weekend. I had a great time and um, I was so excited to um, use the bags that um, that I did pick. So the first one, and this is the one that I used for the daytime, was the Foxwood Mini Carson. So the Mini Carson in Foxwood. And I just love this bag. This was actually the first time that I got a chance to actually take this out. And look at that beautiful fox on the back. I love it. And so this one was one of those blind purchases that I made from Occasionally Yours. Um, I was kind of surprised that they had the Foxwood Mini Carson because these are kind of hard to find, like in these particular patterns. Um, but I went on Occasionally Yours and I saw this and they, I saw that they had this and I knew I was taking a chance with pattern placement. Um, because I really wanted to avoid getting like that kind of ugly flower that I don't really like. Um, which thankfully I did, <laughs> I didn't get on the front or the back. Um, oh, actually I kind of got it on the side here, but, um, I didn't really even notice that to be honest. Um, and I don't mind it there on the side. It's, it's fine. So I knew I was taking a chance with pattern placement. Um, but you know what? I was like, I would actually really like to have a bag in Foxwood, um, particularly the mini Carson. And so I went ahead and I went with it. And I was very pleasantly surprised when I received it and um, overall very happy with it. I mean, I even got a little fox head right down here and um, I thought that was really cute. So he's just kind of peeking out there, which is nice. And then I got delicate parts of the pattern just, you know, are throughout the bag. And then on the back, um, you get this beautiful fox just right there in the center. And I love that. And then with the Carson Mini, just like to talk about features, it does have these uh, removable straps um, on both sides. And I believe the, um, but I mean, I just, I, I kind of keep it together. It is a crossbody. So the Carson bag style is a crossbody. And I believe it's a 56 inch strap that you can adjust. Um, so you can make it as long as you'd like, and it gets pretty long, um, and you can make it as short as you'd like. Um, it can even work as a shoulder bag. So, um, I believe, yeah, I think I pretty much had it somewhere around here, um, or maybe a little bit. I think I had it somewhere around here, but this was like kind of the perfect length for me. I like the size of this because you get just enough in here without, um, uh, feeling like you don't have enough space. Um, you do get the silver hardware, you get the little black zipper here. Um, it is, um, it feels like the, to me, it doesn't feel like the scratchy zipper, to be honest. It feels like, um, the metal sort of plastic, maybe it's like, um, yeah, it's not scratchy at all to me. Um, it, but it is, a, I think it is the metal zipper, but it's, it's much, much softer, um, than the older metal zippers. Um, and then you get a compartment back here. It is a magnetic closure. Um, and then you get a, uh, a compartment in the front. And this is also a magnetic closure. Um, and so basically, that's pretty much the overall. Um, on the inside, you get two slip pockets. Um, and then you just get that, uh, you get one zipper pocket. you get the one zipper pocket in here. And as you can see, I didn't really overstuff my bag. I will show you what I put inside, but I didn't overstuff my bag. 
and I'm very happy with this bag. Um, this worked perfectly for me for the day. I was able to be hands-free and I still had enough space to put like little candies in. We went to a little saltwater taffy shop and I had a little bag of candies. <laughs> I had a lot of sweets that day, but it was my birthday. So, you know, we went to the bakery, we went to the saltwater taffy shop. Um, and so I treated myself to some sweets and yes. Oh, thank you. Um, I will show you what's in my bag so we can go ahead and get into that. In the front flap, I basically, I don't have it with me, but I did have receipts um, that I tucked away. Um, like we went to the railroad museum and so we had a couple of like receipts from that and so I kind of had those in there, but I, I threw them away because I didn't need them. Um, and then on the inside, I have, so in one of the slip pockets, I have a, um, little thing of gum, which fit perfectly in the little slip pocket. It's a little orbit. And then I have my key case for my home and my car keys. And that fit perfectly in the other slip pocket, as you can see. Fit just perfectly in there. I love organization inside a bag, especially when they give you some kind of slip pockets or a zipper pocket um, rather than just um, one main section and that's it. Um, I did take my little... Um, my little medication pouch um, just for, you know, because we were eating breakfast in the morning and I have to take some medication after breakfast. And so I kept um, I kept some of that in this. This was actually great um, because I kept like the few medications that I needed to take into in this little empty one. Um, and then I had just like my Tums and um, my Advil. Th these are just in case because um, sometimes my husband will get headaches or something or I'll get headaches. And I just keep these. Um, these will go pretty much in everything. So in all of my bags, I keep this little Lilac Time um, coin pouch that I love. And it's just a little, like, kind of like an emergency kit for me. Then I had my Foxwood mask that I wore. And this is uh, so dirty with my makeup, but, like, I'll show you. <laughs> um, I don't really like the ones um, with the two sort of you know, the ones that go around your head, but I, I wore this. Um, I don't like how I can't adjust this one. Like, I can adjust this, right? But I can't adjust this guy. And so it feels a little floppy. But the only reason I wore it out is because it matched my um, Carson Mini in Foxwood, and it has that adorable mask. So I did, like, use the crap out of this for that day. Um, I love that. I just love, love, love that little fox. On the mask um, this wasn't like an ideal mask for me but um, I like the ones with the two um, sort of the ones that go around your ear um, I prefer those but I left those at home and I just picked this one because um, it matched and then I have my Gen Zip ID in Foxwood and let me just move my license and oh actually I'll take it out so I can show you but the back of this if you can see on the inside, it has a little squirrel, which I really like. And it has a little squirrel right here. And I think I bought this from Occasionally Yours too. Um, this was in the same order. So I got these two together and I'm really, really happy with the pattern placement on both of the items. Um, got that little, you know, flower over here. And then a squirrel as soon as you open it up. And I kept two lipsticks. Um, I kept a red, yeah, a Patrick Wu, and then a Tarte, a Tartist lip paint, which I really like the Tarte um, little lip paints. They're they're very comfy on the lips, um, and this is in a nude color. I think it's in um, birthday suit. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, it's like a perfect nude, and I wore this throughout the day. So I really do love little Tarte. Um, lip paints and I and I put that in this section um, I do love the Gen Zip IDs I wish they would still make these but they don't unfortunately um, and I didn't you know didn't need to take a lanyard or anything like that and then in this section I just have my cards and little rewards cards and things like that this is such a, um, a nice size as a wallet um, because you can, it's multifunctional. You can put whatever you want in here, and it has a, a lot of space. I love that about this, and I love how comfortably it fit in the 
um, in the mini Carson as well. I mean, I just love that. Um, you can either put it right side up or like vertically or horizontally in the bag and it fit. Then I had some hand sanitizing wipes that I just put in here. And I think I had them in this back section back here. But um, yeah, I didn't have my bag like overstuffed. I just felt like I had enough. And then I also had my phone. I had my phone in here as well. So I felt like I got everything in there perfectly. Um, these are like all of my essentials and I was very, very happy with the size. I loved being hands-free. Um, and I just love this beautiful fall pattern. Um, so I was really excited about this um, and using this one for my bag of the day. And then for the evening, I switched into the, um, the velvet pouch wristlet in black. And let me tell you guys, I absolutely love this. So what I did was I just, um, I think I just threw in my, let me see what I've got in here. Oh, I've got like a lip gloss in here, but it's basically empty because all I did, um, and I have a mask in here as well. This is one of the, um, the ones that go behind your ear. It's a plaid mask. This is actually my husband's mask. Um, he loves this mask. Um, he loves the plaid design. It's very like, you know, gender neutral, um, you know, geared towards, um, you know, the masculine side. Um, he loves this. He wears, he has two of these and I think I just kept one of these in here just in case. Um, and, um, let me just talk about the interior of this for a second. It's in that beautiful foxwood pink, I believe. I, I think this is foxwood pink, but it's basically a variation of foxwood, like the interior of foxwood, which is a purple, which I do love the purple. Um, I like the original purple interior of the foxwood. I think it's called foxwood menagerie. Um, but this is that, it's the same pattern, but just in a different color variation and it's in a pink. And it has this one, um, this, you can either detach the strap if you don't want it, um, and you can use this as a pouch inside a purse, which I've seen people put masks in here and then use it as a pouch in their purse or like as a little makeup pouch and then stick it in your purse. But I use this as a wristlet and it has a um, zipper on the outside. This is very spacious, um, I think for going out. If you've got like dinner plans or you can spruce up like any ensemble, um, any outfit with this pouch wristlet for the evening, even for the day, like it doesn't really matter, but I find this to be such a handy item and it's one of my favorite items um, because it comes in handy, um, literally. Like when I need to like grab and go and I'm going somewhere um, and I need something a little bit more, you know, classy, a little bit, like has more of a little bit has more of an upscale feel, um, I'll grab this velvet pouch wristlet. And on the inside, you actually get a zipper pocket. You get this zipper pocket here, and you get a slip pocket as well. And what I did was, I basically, my husband took the keys, so I didn't have to put the keys in there. I was able to put my phone and my Gen Zip ID in here. Um, and these guys, and that's all I took. And I think I, oh yeah, and I already had like my lipsticks in there, so um, that was perfect. And then just had like a mask or two, um, like tucked away in the back. So um, it looks really cute when it's filled out. See, it just, it's a little, it's a cute little pouch wristlet, and I just love it. And I think it's um, perfect. Um, and it doesn't, you know, I thought that the velvet would be, would get dirty easily or it would um, mess up, like maybe like the material would get messed up or something. But I haven't really it, noticed that it's, um, I've taken this out quite a few places. I went to Las Vegas um, a couple months ago. I went in September and I took this to dinners when I went there. So I packed, like when I had my bags packed, I basically added the pouch wristlet 
as a going out bag and I basically use this for dinners and going out and it was perfect so this is one of my staples um, in my collection um, and I just love that I would probably buy another one as a backup to be honest <laughs> because I think over after some time it will start to show some signs of wear but this you can actually find on the online outlet sale at this time that's going on right now and it's $16.50 with another 30% off so like literally I think this will cost you like nine or ten dollars um, maybe eleven dollars um, which is not bad so guys um, if you're considering this, I definitely think that this is one of those bags that would be a staple in your collection as well. So that's just my spiel on this. No, I'm not sponsored by Vera Bradley. I wish I was, but I'm not. <laughs> and that is the, yeah, these are the two bags. These are my two birthday bags. Um, the Foxwood Mini Carson and the Velvet Pouch Wristlet in black. And I loved both of them. They made my day super special and I couldn't have been happier with these. So um, this one is probably going to be my go to like my, um, you know, like my shopping bag or something like that during the week um, as well. Like I still have my totes and um, I'm still carrying spooky cats for like as my work bag and my meeting bag. Um, but um, I do like to have a grab and go bag as well. And this is just perfect for that. It's easy. I can just stick my essentials in here and I'm good to go. So. So yeah, um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.